explain it this way. When uh, my students are doing their katas, let's say, for their test, we all look very, very similar. You can tell they're one of my students, like when you watch Richard move. <clears throat> so, because we emphasize the power and the stance and the breathing and directional harmony. So, we look sort of like that. But, in this group, they look a little, little bit different, and that's okay. As long as it's a forward bow, it's a reverse bow, it's the touch. You give me that, okay. And you look a little different, okay, that's great. As long as you're moving with power, not with just with speed, then okay, you can have a little, we'll look a little different. Maybe much bigger, maybe much smaller, you know, you, you have that flexibility. But you can always look at one of my students and go, oh, yeah, I see. That looks like when Speakman moves, I see that. Just like when Richard moves, you can see that. And even Michelle, where are you? There you are. <laughs> who's much, much smaller, watch her move. She does exactly like Richard, you know. She makes the same commitment to the timing breaks. And that's what we're going to do now. Sometimes when I'm teaching <clears throat> one of a black belt, and I'm trying to, you know, they're doing a technique like five swords. And it just isn't right. It's just not right. You know? They're not getting something. And I look at it and I go, I just can't quite figure out why there's not enough power there. Because I can look at them and I can say, there's more power in you than what you're doing here. And I'll look at them and do the technique and I just can't get it. You know? So what I'll do is I'll say, okay, do it again. Like that, like you're doing it. And then I'll close my eyes and I'll listen. And then I'll listen to the timing. So when you take the visual away, you can only listen to the rhythm, like the music of the technique. Mr. Parker used to say, it's not the notes and the music that make beautiful music, it's the space between the notes. And that's very important. Because to me, good tempo is power tempo not speed tempo. So this breaks in the timing, in the rhythm, in the music of the technique. That's how you let the chi come up, the power through your breath. So sometimes I'll just go like this and I'll close, I'll say, do that again up here. And I'll go, ah, that's it. Because if I take the visual away, then I'm used, I have to use another signal. And then sometimes I'll get that and I'll go, oh, okay. now I got it. And now I can fix it. So sometimes you have to take the vision away and listen to the rhythm. So now I want to experiment with that with you now on this technique. <clears throat> four counts, four breaths. Here's one, here's two, here's three, and here's four. Yes? So you're going to take those breaks. Forward bow. Forward bow, directional harmony, and see my shoulders are here. Now I can do this. Right? Okay? So this is what I want you to work on. So listen now. Just listen. Maybe if you want to close your eyes, but you're going to listen to some <clears throat> Hear those? And you can even hear in my breath the timing of those breaks. See that? Okay, you ready? Okay, let's go. No, let's do it again. When you're coming from here, here, you're putting this together. And that's not what I want. To go here, here, and go. Then, then. Right. So the, see the difference? Yeah. Everybody? Okay, yeah. <laughs> right. So see when he did that break, what did it give him on the last hits? It gave him directional harm. See, he broke here and then he went, okay, boom. See? That's what it gives you when you give me that break there. Each of you do it again. That's right. See that? See the power of that one hand sword that comes? That's the knockout strike to the neck. Yeah, 
See how he loads up then. See those last two hits? Mm -hmm. See the power that put that bang at the end? One more time each. There. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good job. Thank you. So really, um, what gets to be fun for me is this is working ideas of advanced motion. This is uh, brown belt and black belt and second and third and fourth. So <clears throat> this is where I can tweak a little bit of something and get something new from you. Right? This is what your journey from black belt forward is really about. Small little changes. Now, this experience was uh, a change that I could get from these guys by explaining it to them and physically changing their movement. Sometimes you don't do it this way. What we really want to get to is me talking to you about how you think. Because then if I can change how you think, then I can change how you move. So we did that a little here, and you saw it, when I said, look at the difference in the last two strikes when I got him to give me a timing break here. Then those last two strikes were directional harmony. I got directional harmony on last one. I got him to load up, go, bam! And then with facing this way, then I got him to go, boom! See, those were big moves, but it was still within his outer rib. He was still contained, but they were much, much more powerful because of the timing break. So, is that better? You saw the first time Richard did it. Remember when he came and he went here and made that all one move? Remember that? The first time he did it? And then I had him break and do the second move. Now, is that, was Richard's first one versus the second one, was it better? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If Richard got in a fight and he did either one of those, would they work? Yep. Because he's that good. So he can make either one of those work. So that's not the conversation. So often in Kempo and in life, we ask the wrong question. And sometimes that question, the wrong question is done on purpose to drag you to the wrong conversation. You're having the wrong discussion. We need to have this discussion over here. How can I not, this, so the question is not, which one, one will work and one won't. That's the wrong discussion. They're both gonna work. The discussion that's worth having is, understand the difference in the timing breaks and the breath, and which one gave me which piece. Right? So you can kind of go, oh, okay, like this. So in advanced motion, in, especially in the extensions, the conversation that's worth having is by me manipulating the timing changes in your movement, can I make you a better martial artist? That's the conversation worth having. The conversation that isn't worth having is, well, this is more powerful, or that one's better, that, okay. Right, now we got this. Or two people arguing. Sorry, that's me. You gotta get up the phone. They got It could be my agent, you never know. <laughs>